Benedetti Worley Stadium has long been the home of a winning football team. But the kind of football you're thinking of aren't the only ones dominating out on the turf. Men's soccer is right there with them, currently 14 games unbeaten to begin their season despite a young and inexperienced roster. We have uh, seven uh, underclassmen starting, uh, four freshmen and three sophomores, and the sophomores haven't played a real uh, game yet, so it's like being freshmen. Uh, and then we have no seniors on the team. We have one senior who's been hurt and is not playing. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a very, very young team. Uh, and and they're, they're, they're playing like they're very mature. I think we're pretty good at generating chances because we're fast on the wings. Strikers can finish. Even the solid, we're good. Um, it's blown my expectations, unfortunately. I couldn't imagine us doing this well as my first college season as I didn't get one as a freshman. So it's very impressive to me. I first, when I got here, uh, I didn't think it would be uh, this tough, this competitive. Um, it, it really has been a challenge for me uh, adapting, um, but I think as a team, as a whole, we're doing a really good job and staying humble. Uh, it's been really exciting. Um, it's been fun being able to chip in on both the offensive and defensive side. Um, as, I don't know, one of the taller guys on the team, it's, it's something I try and do, um, I don't know, every year. Uh, helping in, in both, both forms, I guess. Talking out of the back is one of my strong suits. Um, yeah, just that and directing guys in front of me and trying to be a leader. The results on the field so far have proven that this is a special group of players. Soccer requires 11 individuals working in tandem, and it's clear that through the entire roster, there is both unity off the field and collective understanding on it. Uh, the chemistry, uh, the, the family atmosphere that these guys have. Uh, I, I met with all the freshmen you know, early in the season, and they all expressed uh, all the enthusiasm and how they felt welcome right away, and how they felt like uh, their second family away from home. Yeah. So that's, that's one of the special traits of this team. We learn a lot from each other. Uh, we got uh, a lot of young guys. Uh, make sure we stay on top of school and make sure we help each other out. So we're always looking out for one another. I think it's, pretty, it's a pretty good thing because we get better every day each year. Make sure we have a better team, better chemistry. Uh, it means everything because our captains do a really good job at introducing every young player. Our team chemistry is very high and, and we bring a lot of energy to not only games but also practices. It's actually like really nice um, to know that everyone on the team has so many years left and uh, we can just progress so much more in the coming years. This young team faced its biggest test of the season last week when they traveled to then number 16 Carthage College and left with a 1-0 win. For the players, they proved to themselves just what they're capable of. Hope we had some other uh, tougher games before, you know, I, I with, with a bunch of freshmen, uh, such a young team, you never know how they're going to react to adversity. We've had some games where we had to face some adversity and they just went through it very easily. So on Saturday night, you know, we all knew it was a tough game, we all knew it was a, uh, a special game, uh, but we also knew it was a game like any other game. It meant a lot because I know how much it means to these captains and that, again that chemistry is huge so um, to do it for them and to do it for ourselves as we compete and keep going on in the season. I had uh, quite a few friends that I knew um, from club soccer that played at Carthage so um, that, it was just extra special for me. The path to a regular season conference title and possibly more beyond that is now clear for this group. Their toughest challenge now is to not get ahead of themselves. I think we just focus on one game at a time and we every time we go to practice we're like we got one step we make a new step today and do it again tomorrow. Uh, we just try and stay humble, uh, stick true to what we've been doing the whole time, stick to our goals and just keep trying to achieve them and move forward. Despite their record, the Cardinals are still struggling for national recognition. But for Enzo Fascino, it's about his players not worrying what anyone else thinks and keeping their focus squarely on their own games. Hard work, uh, preparation, and as I said before, not taking anything for granted, uh, just uh, earning everything on the field, knowing that nobody's gonna give us anything. Dedication, passion, uh, work rate, lo lo lots of things. Uh, but, you know, these guys are, uh, are a special group. But we're just taking one game at a time, we don't take anything for granted, and, uh, and uh, you know, I'm very pleased uh, we are things are going. So again, you know, winning conference is definitely a goal uh, that's achievable, uh, and hopefully get a postseason berth, which uh, we never got before uh, at the school here for soccer. We've been ranked nationally in D3Soccer.com. 
Uh, we don't get the national recognition in uh, the United Soccer Coaches for some reason, uh, but it doesn't really matter. You know, the only the only uh, rankings that matter are the ones at the end. Uh, so let's wait a couple more weeks and then see what happens.